What's going on everyone? My name is Tenebris Infinite and welcome back to 30 Days of Traps with Tenebris and you dudes know it's gonna be a fun episode when my inventory looks like this. So we're going to be starting off my city bomb section of the 30 Days of Traps with Tenebris. For the next nine traps we're going to be talking about a variety of cities that you can set up and use as a citywide trap. We're also going to include a couple industrial locations as well into this little section here. So, let's get started with the first city that you ever come across, Saltham. So the way I'm going to go about setting up these citywide traps is essentially just showing you guys how you can chain together various locations and explosives in the city in order to turn the city into a trap. And if there happens to be any machines in the city that I'm currently laying a trap for, then we'll get a great first-hand kind of example as to how effective these traps actually are. But to start Saltam off, uh, the idea I kind of have working right now is starting off down at the kind of pier here and leading the explosives up the various winding roads and winding paths in order to kind of chain together all of these explosives. So let's just start laying explosives and testing this all out and seeing if I can manage to make this happen. All right, so I've got all of my explosives set up and I'll kind of walk you guys through how I've laid this out. This is going to be my first attempt and hopefully it'll be a successful one. But the idea is, is the explosion will start kind of over here and will snake its way along just out in front of the cunt Sam over there and uh, kind of work its way up over here. Hopefully kind of explode the car here. Let's pop this one down in a bit more optimal of a position here. Hopefully kind of explode the car here and then get to this uh, explosive canister and then snake its way up along the pathway over here and then work its way around blowing up this car further chain reacting along this way and then heading all the way down the main block here so now I'm gonna try to see if I could draw in some enemies into this location <laughs> just just to make this explosion worth something and uh, we'll see if my working plan is actually successful here It friggin' worked! Awesome! <laughs> Alright, let's see if those explosions managed to actually take out the enemies I drew in here. But man, <laughs> nice! <laughs> so you can see the explosions chain reacted their whole way up here. Aw, oh, dang, so it didn't seem to pass through the bush. That's a bit of a shame. Ah, it was so close! It was so close! Oh, Oh well, at least I'm glad that the chain reaction actually went all the way around the bend. Uh, <laughs> Alright, round two. Alright, so this is my third test here. Uh, I've run into a bunch of issues with like enemy spawns and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna worry too much about roping machines into the explosion. You guys get that this has a lot of destructive capability, so the idea more for this is kind of optimizing the explosive layout so that that way, if any of you dudes want to set off a city bomb, you will be able to set it up, and then if you want to draw in enemies, you can kind of do that before you wind up setting up the bomb, and then it just means that you'll be able to set up the city bomb really easily and really efficiently. So let's go through, put down these explosives one more time here, and hopefully we'll be able to get it to work. All right, I think that that worked. Let's go up and see. It looked like it went around the corner here. 
It definitely did. Awesome. All right. So I'll show you guys kind of how I worked around the kind of explosive not getting over the grass here real quick. Where is this guy? There we go. So what I did was uh, <laughs> I just simply hopped up onto this bush here. Brought the explosive kind of over and placed another explosive canister here so that that way it would actually reach the car. And that was, that was a working idea. <laughs> it actually managed to pay off pretty nicely. And so there you guys go. <laughs> the first of my uber ridiculous traps that honestly probably will not even get any purpose in this game. But are just going to be a fun way to just blow a lot of shit up all at once. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, and I will catch you guys in the next one where we'll be approaching a couple more cities here to see how big of a boom we can actually make.